Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ulfi and I am Azure Cloud Engineer. Today I would like to share my experience how I become the Cloud Engineer without computer science background less in one year. A little bit about myself, my background is accounting and business administration. So back in 2021, I decided that I would like to switch my career into the IT industry, especially in a cloud engineer. But before getting into the cloud, I started learning the basic IT knowledge. So I joined the Comptia Secure Infrastructure Specialist Bootcamp. So in this bootcamp, I learned quite a lot of basic knowledge about hardware, operating system, software troubleshooting, networking, IT troubleshooting, security, mobile devices, virtualization, and cloud computing, also operational procedures. And at the end of this bootcamp, we require to get the Comptia A plus certification. This certification is requires you to pass the two exam, which is, is the core one and core two. So after I passed this bootcamp, now I have more confidence to learn about the cloud computing. So I joined another bootcamp, which is, is the Tech Academy Cloud Engineering Bootcamp. So this bootcamp is the MTT Data UK scholarship for women in tech. This is specialized for any woman that want to switch their career into IT, especially in cloud computing. At the end of this bootcamp, uh, we are required to pass the AZ900, it's the Azure Fundamental Certification. In this exam, you need to know how to describe about the cloud concepts, Azure architecture, the services, and also Azure management and governance. Once I pass the AZ900, I also learning about the Azure Data Fundamental. This is a good first step certification for data engineer in Azure. I also learned about the Azure AI Fundamental. This certification is good for beginners from technical and non-technical background to learn about the basic knowledge about AI and machine learning. I have interest more into the cloud security. That's why that I also learning about the Microsoft Security Compliance and Identity Fundamental or SC900. This exam is target anyone that looking to learn about the security compliance and identity across the cloud base or any related Microsoft services. Bear in mind, all these fundamentals Microsoft Azure certification is not required for any higher Azure certification, but this is a good starting point for anyone that wants to learn about cloud or Azure. After I passed all of these fundamental certification, I had a chance to have the interview with Entity Data UK for a junior cloud engineer roles. After two months of waiting, Lucky me that I got my first role in cloud computing. It was take for me at least roughly about eight months for two bootcamp and get this role. After I got the role, so I also prepared myself for the Azure Administrator Associate Certification. This certification ideally that you need minimum at least six to eight months worth of Azure hands-on experience also the understanding of the cloud as a portal powershell and the command line on this exam you're gonna learn a lot about the manage azure identities deploy and manage azure resources such as the virtual network virtual machine storage account and also monitor the security risk the passing mark for az104 is 700 and from my experience, give more time to learn these modules because it's very technical, it's very complex compared to any fundamental exams that I had before. I failed on my first and the second attempt is because I was in rush, I was not really give time to learn all of these modules. On my third attempt, I passed it with only 750 marks. It was so close. I have more interest into cloud security. That's why that I also learned about the Azure Security 
Engineer Associate Exams or AZ500. This one is required for anyone that wants to be the cloud security who implement, configure the security tools and controls in Azure environment. The responsibility for the Azure security engineer is include the managing the security posture, identifying and remediating the vulnerabilities, threat protection, and responding to security incidents escalation. But if you just want to become the cloud engineer that doing the administration on daily tasks, you don't have to get the AZ500. This is more for anyone that has interest into the cloud security or a cyber security. The certification are potentially door openers. They can help you to get the interview. It can also help you to get the promotion, but certification are not a guarantee to get a job. So certification is good for you to have. It's proof that you know the knowledge of these Azure environment, but experience is more important. Bear in mind about it. So yeah, and that's all. I hope my experience can help you to find a way to become a cloud engineer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next video.